Hey everybody, I'm Yvonne Williams with Back to Earth Creations and welcome to this week's shop update. As usual, I am going to start by asking you guys to leave a comment on this video if you're interested in participating in our giveaway. Now, at the time of recording, this coming Friday is another one of our craft along a thons. Now, it's not a super duper one where we're doing like a mega sale and stuff like that, but we will be doing a double giveaway. So, we'll be drawing a winner from this video as well as from last week's video. So, links to all that should be down in the video description and if it isn't come on future Vaughn come through for us please um if it isn't you can just head over to our channel and our videos and just sort it by most recent and you'll be able to see it lined up there but I'm really hoping that future Vaughn will get her life together <laughs> until then let's look at some super shiny crabs we have been messing about and experimenting with some new dichro here lately so let me see if I can do some also I don't know if y'all can hear it but we have like some wicked cool thunder going on right now look at this die crow you guys like that is just so neat to me and I'm so excited that's how the backs look of our cabs now all of these can have a groove added to them if you're into that this is this is an example of one of our grooved cabs so the wire just nestles right in there we go through with our grinder machine it's a superstar 2 by glass star um with a grinding bit we actually have a whole video showing how we do it but we go in and we add the groove but we only do that if you want us to so there is an option where you can select and it's an upcharge but i mean because it's kind of hard on my hands but um there's an upcharge for it but we can add a groove to any of these cabs that i'm about to show you we also have a whole mess of pre-grooved quartz crystals and labradorite cabochons left over in our shop from this previous friday again at the time of recording this previous friday's absolutely epic super duper craft along a thon by the way you guys thank you so much to everybody who participated in that y'all really gave us a very memorable evening we had a fantastic time got to make a lot of cool jewelry for you here's another one of the new die crow patterns also this week i am experimenting i don't know how it's going to go yet but i am experimenting with adding decals to our artwork so hopefully we'll have some cool maybe Celtic Noct's and Trees of Life and different things added into our fused glass. Here's another really super shiny one. I just, I'm absolutely love, we even have some you guys. Okay, I did not pair them together as earrings because just because I think it might be good enough for an earring mat doesn't mean everybody agrees with that. So um, I do have some in here spaced throughout the tray that would be good earring pairs. Again, I think. Um, but we'll definitely uh, leave that up to you if you want to purchase multiple. So like these two here, I thought would look, I mean, because they're similar. They're different enough, but they are similar. Cute little dichro calves. Oh, that one's pretty too. And again, similar, but different enough that I just wasn't certain. Ooh, look at this. I love these geometric designs. And the very slight color. I think they look very sleek. Now this one, y'all, is probably my favorite. Ah, look at that trippy. Ah, I love it. <laughs> like, I cannot get enough of this. And I'm hoping to make a whole bunch more. And I mean, that's, that's large enough that you can make a pretty cool statement piece out of it. Oh, and then this one actually has some little acorns, like oak leaves so cute and then of course ooh, this one is similar I've had some similar to this in previous shop updates but I still cannot get enough of them it's like I don't know just so pretty and then this one here that's got a cute little distorted heart and some little streakies and stuff just some cool I don't know I thought it'd be cool to add in some new textures and I'm really interested in finding out what you guys think of that And I'm, I'm as big as a fan I, as I am of the textures, I'm just as big of a fan of just the flat flashes of beautiful color. I absolutely love that metallic blue. Ooh, and there's another one that I think would go well with it. 
just so shimmery. I'm coming in now. Uh, <laughs> that's so cool. Like, and I think that would be such a cute size for like a ring or some large earrings. Check that out, y'all. Kind of like it's got geometric, almost leaf veining through it. And then we've got this one here. Super duper pretty. Oh my gosh. So shout out to everybody who was in the path of the hurricane. I hope you guys are doing okay. We're current. Oh, this one. I think this was one of Randy's favorites. It was either this one or one similar to it. Because it just looks like stuff's growing up it. But uh, we're catching. Whoops, we're catching the edge. Just, you know, the weather front that travels across. But, oh, now that one's so cute, too. But it's been relatively mild. We did go outside. It was so magical, you guys. Randy came out and helped me harvest tomatoes in the absolute pouring rain. But if we left them on the vine and, um, you know, getting all of this rain after it's been so dry for so long, I'm afraid, you know, that they would have split. So I was like, we gotta get them, like, even the ones that aren't completely ripe, ripe yet, because once they split, the birds and the bugs will get in them. So we've been, the whole house smells like hot tomatoes, because <laughs> I've been running the dehydrator for, like, two days now. Um, ooh, I love, love, love that one. And all of our fused glass is perfect for using in polymer clay. You can bake it in your oven all day long like it won't phase it at all um so polymer clay you can use these in metal smithing projects the same way you would any gemstone cabochons uh you can set them in chain mail wire wrapping i'd really i kind of want to i've been feeling the calling towards beading lately like mm, i want to sit down and spend 70 hours on a project <laughs> like is how i'm feeling there's another little acorn oak leaf one very very subtle but i love it that little coppery sheen and I think these would look absolutely amazing incorporated. If any of y'all do like bead embroidery and use any of your cabs, please, please, please tag me. I need to see how it looks. Oh, I like that one too. <laughs> Ooh, and then here's another. Oh my love. That is so shiny and that very light texturing. <laughs> I think I just found my favorite. It's got little faces in it or something. What's going on here? Oh. Oh, well, you know, of course I say that and then I come across this and I think this one might be my favorite just because I've never once in my life gotten enough of this color scheme. <laughs> well, this is just one tray, you guys, of all of the different things that we have in our shop. We've got, like I said, a whole mess of the pre-grooved quartz crystals as well as the pre-grooved labradorite cabochons and then we've got a whole mess as well of more labradorite and amethyst and even a couple of druzies and different things still in their natural form like well in their traditional cabochon form no no groove added but a lot of them do have that option there if you want it so thank you guys so much for hanging out with me if you have any questions or comments or ideas or anything like that you can leave them down in the comments um, you can also email us at back to, back to earth creations at yahoo.com and, um, yeah, just let us know if there's any way that we can be helpful to you and also be sure to leave a comment on here if you want to participate in our giveaway. We'll be giving away one of our $10 cab boxes that we send out monthly, um, to our craft along club members. So be sure to check that out and, uh, until next time y'all, thank you so much and happy crafting. Mwah! Bye. <laughs>